Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Red Shadow Legends and I apologize there hasn't been many videos of this game lately. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, I don't know, I just, I ran out of ideas. <laughs> I do want to make a video of the free to play account very soon. Uh, but yeah, here we are going to talk about the new champions which has been released. I'm going to look at them, going to, I'm going to read their skills. We're going to have a good time. And also, the, the developers responded to my new hero video. Uh, well, I don't think on, on YouTube, uh, but I did. I sent it, and and she, the person, said she, it looked good, and she would further it to to the department which is handling making heroes. So maybe we'll get the Dragon Lord at some point. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, it's my most recent Raid Shadow Legends video called I Made a New Champion or, or something. Um, it's like a bad thumbnail with black and white dragon. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to today's video. We're going to look at new heroes. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and do it immediately. Also, the, the guild ra the died. <laughs> Incredible scene, it's died. I don't think we're the servant of the name anymore. I don't know why. Um, so <laughs> Yeah, I don't. The whale rider is still online, you know. Like, I don't know what happened. What happened, dude? What happened, dude? Uh, my lids. Oi, oi, oi. I guess maybe people left the game or something. Uh, let's not hit brutal. If uh, yeah, that's true. Um, okay, anyway, <laughs> let's get right into it. So the first hero is called the Lurker, um, and that's a common hero. It's the only common hero which is uh, which has come out. Uh, so that's a red index. This is a part of the Dark Elves, um, and I've gotten like so many heroes. So yeah, a lurker. So what lurker does as a common uh, common hero is attacks one enemy as a has a fifteen has essentially a a thirty percent chance of placing a poison thing. Uh, maybe a nice for a very 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 beginner clan boss team. I think Kyle outshines that that uh, hero whenever though because it's just a common. Next hero we have on our list is a vile spawn, which is under demon spawn. Uh, so let's see, it's an uncommon hero, uh, which is, yeah, dang, demon spawn doesn't have any common heroes. Game, get at it. <laughs> okay, so wild spawn, let's take a look here. This is an interesting model. Looks like a demon possessed uh, girl or something, like it, it's just a very demon possessed uh, female character. I don't know if it, she looks the same as someone else though, maybe she does. Look at those high heels though, and those, okay, looks in, okay, <laughs> cool. Anyway, uh, attacks one enemy has a, essentially a 30% chance of placing a 25% decrease attack diva for two turns. Not bad to be a, an uncommon hero. Heals an ally by 10%, oh, essentially, wow. 15 plus 20 equals uh, 25. No, 15, uh, 25, 35, 45%, really? Ter yeah, I think heals an ally by 45% of their max health. That's overpowered. <laughs> it's, it's, it's overpowered to be on an uncommon hero. That's an insane. It's just one ally, but still, sh that's 45% of their max health. If you have like a Rochard with like hundreds, a hundred thousand health, you just use this hero and heal him by freaking. Let's say he has a hundred k health, so you're healing him by forty five k. That's insane for an uncommon hero. Interesting, nice, nice thing. Wild spawn. Uh, then we have. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, head taker. Uh, head taker is an uncommon magic barbarian hero. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, where art thou barbarians? There they are. Um, let's see here. Yeah, here we go. Head taker. This is an interesting looking hero. Very interesting. This is a... This seems like original. Well, original. I haven't seen this type of hero before, I don't think. Maybe I have. But yeah, this hero here looks kind of sick. It's an attacker hero. Attacks one enemy, whatever. Attacks one enemy has a... 75% chance of decreasing their turn meter by 20%. Again, this is fine enough. It's it's you're not never going to use it, but it's fine enough. It's good enough to be an uncommon hero. I really liked I really like this model though. Definitely my favorite one by far out of the new few heroes we've seen. Um that this was all all of it for the uncommon heroes. Now we're going over to Perforator, which is a dwarf. A, a rare dwarf. Um let's see here. There the dwarfs are. And it's, um, uh, let's see here, Painsmith, Bulwark, 
Uh, there we go. This is the new one. Okay, I see. So this is a, a an archer dwarf. I see. Or yeah, an archer, a crossbow bowman. Anyway, he has um, uh, essentially a um, twenty, a uh, fifty percent chance of placing a poison on one enemy for one turn. Five percent. I like the five percent poison. That's good. Exact attacks on one enemy increases decreases the. No, it ignores their defense and uh, grants an extra turn if it kills. Okay, so this and play, has a thirty-five percent chance of play for one turn. When this uh, champion. He's good. He's good enough to be a rare. He's nothing too much to talk about. He, he's fi he's fine enough. Let's take a look at Reliquary Tender, which is a void support high elves. Mm, let's head over to the high elves here. Uh, a void rare hero. This has to be what the one. <laughs> they all look the same. Why are why do they look the same? Um. I, I, anyway, uh, let's see here. The, the, it's the same. <laughs> they gave up. <laughs> Plarium gave up, I guess. Uh, anyway, attacks one enemy has uh, essentially um. Uh, let's say yeah, that's a thirty percent. Has a fifty percent chance of placing uh twenty five. Okay. Uh, removes all debuff from all allies. Oh. On a three turn cooldown and places man, that's not too bad. Removes all debuff from all allies and places a continuous seal, not bad. Revives an ally, Victoria. Does this remind you of anyone? <laughs> maybe it does. I, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's Spiritus. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. She She's fine. She's fair. She's a rare hero. Um, Then we have an undead horde's hero. Uh, let's see here. It's a rare hero. Uh, it's a spirit. Um, this means it has to be this one, Ghoulish Man, Ghoulish Ranger. Okay, or I like this. This is a good model. This is a very good model. I really like this model. This is my favorite one so far, actually. And look beside him. Yeah, is this new? Is this a new model? Actual? Look on the sides there. Yeah, this is this is a good this is a good looking hero. My favorite one by ten times so far out of today. Uh, out to, of, of today's 16 new heroes so far. Uh, anyway, attacks one enemy has a 50% chance of placing a 25. I'm just reading with upgraded skills. Has a 50% chance of placing a 25% decrease accuracy. Places an extra rate if they're under a decrease accuracy. Uh, attacks on one enemy uh, has a 60% chance of placing a leech. Uh, and this is on a three turn cooldown. Then attacks three times at random has a 30% chance of placing HP bar. Yeah, eh, it's fine enough. Uh, essentially, a fifty percent chance. That's eh, whatever. It's kind of, it's kind of whatever. It's, it's, it's fine. He's, he's a rare hero. Just wanted to see one more time. Then, um, yeah, it's on a four turn cooldown. Okay, good to know. Then we have Ogren Jailer, and you wouldn't believe it. It's in Ogren tribes. Uh, and yeah, the Jailer is this the one. Yeah, it is. Uh, this guy looks kind of nuts. I, li I like his cleaver, you know, uh, not his cleavage, but his cleaver. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, this is a, this is another rare hero. Attacks one enemy, has a forty percent chance, essentially a sixty percent chance of removing one random buff. And this is at all times. This is good to be on attack one. Attacks one enemy has a forty percent chance of um, essentially a sixty. No wait. 75 percent chance of stealing two random buffs from the target plus an extra hit. If it's target, but if any, okay, that that's a good skill, and it's on a three turn cooldown. That's not bad, um, and it's not legendary quality, but it's a rare hero, so it's it's good to, to be rare. Uh, that's kind of that's that's really useless unless it deals a crap ton of damage, and uh, yeah, his aura increases all accuracy by twenty percent. I didn't really look at the accuracy of everyone. I'm sorry about that. Um, then we have our. This was our last rare. Then we have a first epic, which is a part of the undead hordes. Uh, let's see here. It is a uh, defiled sinner, uh, which is a force, which means probably no, not Hexia. Yeah. Um, corpse collector. Wait, we're a part of undead hordes. Um, it's an epic. Force hero. Wait a minute. Okay, so wait a minute. Okay, Masulum. 
The file center. Oh, I'm stupid. I, I thought it was an epic. <laughs> this guy, he, he looks whatever, honestly. Um, attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a 60%. Okay, that's good uh, for two turns before attacking. Hmm. I don't mind this at all. And this is always, always just decreasing their defense. If five or more enemies are alive, does the following attack instead. Okay. Attacks all enemies places a 25% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns before attacking. Uh, yeah, well, in arena you have four enemies. Maybe it could be good in arena. I don't know. It's it's useful to be attack one anyway. This is a three turn cooldown, and it's based on enemy max health. Attacks one enemy, then attacks all enemies, inflicting damage equal to 50% of their max health if the first hit kills an enemy. This is a, the second, the second, the second hit can be cannot be critical, and it's on a three turn cooldown. Ah. Maybe good for some bosses or something. Attacks all enemies. Damage increases by 10% for each enemy alive. So up to 100%. Yeah, so maybe good for spider. Maybe. Maybe it's meant for spider. It seems like that. Uh, and it's a 5 turn cooldown. Everything is based on attack. Okay, good to know. Attack and yeah, and enemy marks health. Maybe he could. Maybe it's like a downgraded version of Royal Guard or something. Then we have uh, another hero in, in, in the Tords. Masulu Mage, which is not Hexia. Hexia looks awesome. Have I seen her before? Hexia looks looks uh, kind of menacing. I don't know why. Uh, I like the red eyes uh, or orange eyes. Uh, not ma well. Corpse Collector. Uh, uh, Masulu Mage. Yeah, this <laughs> Gorgorab? Question mark. <laughs> this is Gorgorab. Jesus Christ. Uh, um, don't don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just don't don't mind me, man. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, just just don't mind me. If, <laughs> um, it's a thumbnail idea. Uh, anyway, this this guy right here. Okay, you know what? I I'll do it one more time. Okay, give me a moment. I'm sorry about this. I, d I probably will not cut it out. Uh, there we go. Okay, don't 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 worry about it. Okay, let's read his skills anyway. Um, attacks one enemy places a, has a 30% chance, essentially a 50% chance of placing a 30% increased speed. That's an always thing, which is nice. Places a block debuff on, uh, buff on all allies for one round uh, or one turn. Uh, also places a 30% increased crit rate and a 60% uh, div increased defense on all allies for two turns on a three turn cooldown. Not bad, but he's not buffing speed or uh, like, you know. Um, uh, speed meet, uh, turn meter or speed. Ah, uh, removes all debuffs from all allies, then heals all allies by 10%. Essentially, 40% of this champion's max health. It's on a four turn cooldown. He heals each ally by a further 10% if one more debuffs are removed from that ally. Fills each ally, fills each ally's turn meter by 50%, or if two or more debuffs are by 15%, if two or more debuffs are removed from that ally. Ah. Uh, Winds of Purging, that's a heck of a... This guy has some insane skills. Definitely the best epic so far, I think. I think he, I think he outshines uh, the Fault Sinner, to be honest, yeah. By, by, a, by a crap ton, actually. Yeah, maybe, well, maybe this guy is better for the spider, I don't know. Um, let's look here. Then we have Suvai Firstborn, which is a part of bar Barbarians. Um, so let's take a look here. It's an epic hero, and it's... Um, it's a void champion, which means it's it may be here, her, yeah. Kinda kinda slick. I don't know, side cuts. That's well, side cuts. <laughs> kinda interesting. Let's see here. Attack this is an attack hero. Uh, attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance. Places a 50% increase uh, increased attack buff on this champion for two turns. If this attack kills an enemy, uh, places a 30% increased crit rate uh, buff on this champion for two turns. If this attack kills an enemy. So just if has a forty-five percent chance of placing a block debuff for two turns, okay. Block buff. Uh, what is? It's whatever. It's an attack one. You can't expect much. Attacks one enemy. Attacks all enemies with a second hit. If this attack is critical, that this hit steals. Also, you can just have one hundred percent crit rate, and it will always be attacks all enemies with a second hit. If this attack is critical, this hit steals sixty percent of the damage inflicted from the first hit. This attack will always be a normal hit. Okay, so even if she wasn't a void, I don't know. This hit will always be a normal hit. That's so. That's the most well. If you count away crits, then yes. Uh well, yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah, because if 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 it ignores crit, like always a normal hit, obviously. 
<laughs> Avoid heroes always does normal hits. They don't do weak hits. Um, attacks one enemy. <laughs> Has a 75% chance of blazing at 25% weak in the above for two turns. And this isn't a freaking four turn cooldown. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus Christ. She's definitely the worst uh, uh, epic so far. And that's kind of surprising considering she's a void hero. Very worst void hero ever, man. Um, then we have Maeve, which is the final. Uh, let's see here. She is a force champion. Yeah, this is the final hero before we go over to the legendaries. Uh, I like I like the I like that hair. <laughs> Looks kind of cool, man. Uh, let's see here. Also, I'm just looking at my watch because I'm beginning working not too long. Text one enemy has a forty percent chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn. Has a fifty percent chance of granting an extra turn if placing sleep. Okay, so essentially a fifty percent chance of sleeping someone. Uh, an extra turn at that point, not bad. It, it's it's very good to just be attack one. Honestly, it's fine. Attack one and replaces a stun uh, for two turns if the target is under sleep. Okay, good. So if you get an extra turn, you can just stun someone. That's that's a good combo, genuinely. And it's a four turn cooldown, not too bad. Attack one enemy. This is on a three turn cooldown. Enemies killed with the skill cannot be revived. Uh, block revive and it. Yeah, maybe is it is it on a cooldown to block revive or is it just permanent? Very good, regardless. Very good, very good. She, she's a good. Uh, she's a fair. She's 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 a good, um, a good epic hero. I still think, uh, like Gorgreb V two is like another another thing. Uh, he he, uh, he may still be the best one. I don't know. Then we're heading we're heading over to Barbarians Legendary Elder Skarg. This is Elder Skarg. Does he remind you of someone? Yeah, he reminds me of a lot of heroes here. This is this is this is the ones that matters, right? This is the important ones. An attack hero. So let's see. This is this is important. His aura is increased a like crit rate in arena by thirty percent. Uh, uh, speed or defense, you don't really do crit. <laughs> Typically, as an aura, uh, or you know, like it's a speedy team or tanky team. If you do have a tanky team, you probably have a tanky aura. If you have a speedy team, you have a speed aura. So crit aura is kind of a wild card, I guess. Uh, maybe, I don't think it's too reliable. Maybe it is. Attacks one enemy places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns if this attack is critical. Places a 30% increase crit rate buff on this champion if this attack is not critical. That's kind of fun though. If you don't crit, you will, with or with your you essentially have 60% crit, which means <laughs> you could just have, you know, like no crit counters. This, I think this guy could deal a lot of damage. I think he could. I think he could steal a lot of damage. Uh, honestly, I think he he's, he this hit this sword the tide of steel does a lot, even though it's just attack one. Attacks one enemy three times. Places an extra hit for each buff or debuff on the target. Can place up to three extra hits. Places a HP burn debuff for two turns, and a true fear debuff for one turn if the, uh, if this attack places all three extra hits. Uh, for each okay good. Uh, yeah, true fear is nuts. Uh, that's 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 a good skill. Mm. Oh God, what? <laughs> what if what is this skill? <laughs> okay, I just see all the de all the debuffs and buffs. Places <laughs> places a sixty percent increased defense on this champion for three turns. Places a fear debuff on all enemies for one turn. Places a true debuff, true fear debuff for one turn for tar on targets under block damage. Buffs. Okay, good versus Rushard, I guess. Places a 30% decreased speed debuff for two turns on targets under shield buffs. These buffs cannot be resisted. Okay. Okay, good. It cannot be resisted. So, resistance doesn't matter? Really? 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 Okay, well. <laughs> Uh, let me just see here under. Okay, well that's insane. You don't need accuracy, uh, I guess. Uh, revives 15% less damage. Uh, receives 15% less damage from legendary champions. Uh, good enough. Kingslayer. <laughs> Animal in Game of Thrones. Anyway, okay, this guy is not not too bad, honestly. Uh, let's see the next one here. Then we have Grow Grow the Blood Eyed, which is an orcs. Uh, so let's go over and look at another orc, I guess. Um, yeah, Growhawk the Blood Eyed. I don't know why I'm saying it in that voice. Anyway, let's look at the aura. Ally speed in dungeons by point. Ah, whatever. Attacks one. Attacks two times at random. Each hit has a 35% chance of play. Well, essentially a 50% chance of placing a 
30% decrease debuff for two turns. Not too bad, honestly. Then you essentially have like 100% chance, technically, two times 50. So yeah, maybe if you're lucky, if you're not super unlucky, it will happen. Attacks all enemies, fill this champion's turn meter. Turn meter by 20% for each enemy under a decrease a speed debuff, if you, uh, I think. I could see this working out nicely, you know, if, if, if you had someone decreasing everyone's speed and you use this guy, I think this could be nice. He could just get another turn almost immediately. It would be an 80% turn meter increase. Uh, plus, I don't know what his, his, his own attack does, if it matters or if it comes towards it. Anyway, attacks one enemies uh, and save the target's max turn meter. Uh, whatever. This guy isn't the best one, to be honest. Tila Goremain, which is also an Oryx, which is uh, this one. Uh, looks kind of interesting, to be honest. Uh, what is it? Increases ally and resist uh, in all battles by 35. Okay, whatever. Attacks one enemy, steals one round of buff. That's fine enough, to be honest, uh, to be attack one. Well, at, as a legendary hero, I'm not sure. This is a support hero, anyway. Uh, also, damage is based on health. I sh you guys should r notice that. <laughs> uh, I, I should say that, I should say, and now I've said it, so here we are. Attacks one enemy, places a HP burn debuff for two turns, places a 15% continuous heal uh, on all allies, all allies for this cha Okay, so yeah, she does HP burn and she does continuous heal. Kind of whatever. Uh, here, attacks all enemies has a, essentially a 100, well, has a 100% chance of placing a Lich debuff and a 100% heal reduction debuff for two turns. This could be good for like the green potion dungeon or whatever. Could be kind of cool. Not too bad. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a, I'm, I have a headache. I don't know why. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, that was all the new heroes. Who did you like the most? Uh, let me know. Um, my favorite one. It has to be like that guy doing all the things, right? It it has to be um, it ha it has to be Elder Skarig. <laughs> this is my favorite one. This is definitely the best one by a mile. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. I want more peop more heroes like Elder Skarig. So good. Anyway, have a nice one. Bye bye.